What's up guys, today we are taking a look at this knife. This is the Urban UDC Supply F5.5 in black. This is the all blacked out version. This one was released a while ago and uh, it wasn't around very, very long. They didn't make very many of these in the all black and uh, since then they've completely gone out of stock. This is knife that was sold on the Urban UDC Supply website. Um, it's currently out of stock, you can't get it. But it's made by Riot out of China. So you got a nice sheep's foot M390 blade and the smooth black G10 handles. Now these handles are really nice. It doesn't feel like G10. It's so smooth the way they did this G10. It makes it feel almost like, like coated titanium almost. It's really, really well done. It's probably, yeah, it's definitely my favorite G10 on any of the knives I have. Better than all the, uh, all the, we all the, all the other CV knives and even a couple of the Wii knives. It just did a really good job of the smooth G10. So it's a liner lock, inset liner lock. They inset the liners into the scales, which is really really cool. So you can see here it says M390, the inside there, solid lock up. This knife is extremely smooth, super nice. The only means of deployment is this hole here but it works really well for the reverse flick and you can get open with your thumb pretty, pretty easily. Now I have slept, slipped off of it sometimes, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to open with your finger like that. It's super nice. This M390 blade slices really well. Um, I was cutting paper with it the other day and it just like glides through it. It was super sweet. It's got this uh, finger twirl so you can choke up on it like that. It's a three point or sorry, 2.7 inch blade. So not, huge knife it's i would consider it a small knife uh anything under three inches for me is pretty much a small knife i prefer more of a three and a half inch to four inch blade but i can still fit all of my fingers on here i can even fit them back here you rest my pinky right there and then i can fit the rest of them right there and then I, if i choke up i can fit all of them too so either way it works really well this jimping it has jimping here on the top spine works really well it's like in the perfect spot your thumb lands on it either way you're holding it lands right on that jimping so super sweet it's got this, um, the pivot screw is flush with the scales, which I think, <clears throat> I think makes it look really nice. It's got this lanyard hole in the backspacer. It's a nice clip here, small clip, works really well. Um, it slides in and out of the pocket super nicely. And, uh, yeah, so it, uh, flips really well. D10 on this is dialed in super well. I mean, they did a perfect job with this D10. Uh, Riot knives are just, they have the smoothness about them, about, uh, at least the ones I've tried, they just are so smooth. You just, it's not like drop shut, but it, it, it's very light shake shut. It really works really well. So, let's do some size comparisons. Um, I'd like to compare it to some other smaller Chinese made knives, so the Wee Banter and the QSP Penguin. Both also in G10. You can see here, it uh, similar to the size of the banter, a little bit smaller or shorter than the than the QSC Penguin, but it has more presence this direction instead of being longer. So it fills your hand really well. You see there, up against the Wee Banter, similar to the banter, pretty much the same blade length as the banter. Yeah, same blade length as the banter. But and we'll compare it to. Some other knives, let's do some USA stuff, so compare against the Benchmade Full Size Adamus and the Benchmade Bug Out. You see there, it's definitely smaller than both of those. And we'll also compare it to, let's see, Buck 110 and the ZT0308. I love comparing everything to this knife because, I don't know, it just, just makes me happy. <laughs> um, and then we'll also compare it to the Spyderco PM2, because a lot of people have that knife as well. You can see there, it's definitely smaller than that one as well. So, this is a really cool knife made by Riot in China. Super nicely done. Tolerance on it, tolerances on it are really tight compared to other knives I have. It's just, it stayed solid the entire time I've had it. I've never had any blade play or anything. I just, I don't even think I oiled it the first time I got it. I may have put some KPL in it later, 
when it, um, to make it a little bit smoother, but it's just, other than that, it's super, it's keep, kept, kept the same the whole time. It's been super smooth, so, yep, really nice. There's no sharp edges or anything. Everything's knocked down pretty well. Even these edges that look kind of sharp, they're not. They're nice and rounded, so, yep, really nice knife to use. Super comfortable and also kind of fidgety, too. You can do the reverse flick with both hands really easily. It has like the best reverse flicking action on any of the knives I have. I mean, it's just amazing if you can reverse flick it correctly. <laughs> but yeah, thumb flicking, super nice too. I mean, it has really good sound to it too, which I think is cool. Just an added bonus. So I love this blacked out look. It just, it looks awesome. So I like how they hid the, the blade steel. That's like a really cool place to put it, I think. So anyway, yep. The liner lock here looks a little bit thin, but I've never had any trouble, any problems with it. The lockup's been solid and it's never wiggled or anything, so, yep. And it's always, like Riot knives are, always perfectly centered. Just like any Riot. The quality here is really, really, really good. So, yep. And you've got a T8 pivot and T8 hardware as well, so it should be easy to take apart. But, uh, yeah. This is an awesome knife. So that is the Urban EDC Supply F5.5. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I definitely recommend checking out this knife uh, just because it surprised me when I got it. I didn't expect it to be this good, but it really is. So, um, yep. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment whatever you want, uh, your thoughts on this knife. If you have one, tell me what, what version you got, because they come in a bunch of different versions. They got, you know, brass, titanium, uh, micarta, a bunch of G10s. So, yep. Um, hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.